I was listening to this um, teacher named um, Bart Ehrman. Uh, he teaches like old New Testament things. And he says that most people look at struggling. He was like, most most religions that has multiple gods, their answer for struggling is, shoot, it's some good gods and there's some bad gods. And that's why you got good and bad. He was like, but when you come to monolithic religions, it's one God. So then this one God is responsible for everything that's good see and that, everything see that, that's See, that's too much for me. I don't want the books. I don't want the religion. Mm. I don't want nobody else's concept of what they think God is. Gotcha. I, I don't believe nothing I can't see. I've been watching my mama. She was the first one to tell me about God, and I told her God wasn't real. Mm. As a kid, you go alone. But as I start trying to have my own brain now, mama, as I start reading books, as I start getting introduced to Islam, start getting intru- I saw now, mama, that's y'all God. My mama, but I start watching that woman, listening to that woman, that woman's prayers. Mm. I'm so f- over the years, I've been sitting back watching. I'm 44 years old, homie. I was 35, 36, 37 when I realized, man, my mama God might be the best God. Hmm. I done read all the books. I done heard all the scholars, but I ain't seen none of them do what mama do. I ain't seen none of them do what big mama them did, homie, when the crack ever hit. I ain't seen now Muslim person take all the kids in the family so they don't go to CPS and feed them all. When it's on Thanksgiving and Christmas, all these people with their gods, I don't see them gather the family together hmm. like grandmama and big mama them do with their gods. I don't see all these people with these religious ideologies and these beliefs down in the courthouse and in the prison systems praying with the brothers that's down there doing time. I be when I'm in the when the, when the visitation room, I'm seeing them mamas that believe in Jesus. Hmm. Praying with the Muslim brothers and the niggas with all them different ideologies. So I don't believe none of that shit. I don't give a fuck about the New Testament or the Old Testament. Nigga, I don't know if that shit was real. I just know my mama been telling me some shit, homie. And what she said, she said it makes sense because she said, okay, all things work for the good of those that love God and is called according to his will and his purpose. And she said, son, it ain't no exceptions or but to that scripture. Now, I can't tell you where that shit at. But the woman said, I said, mama, so even rape, even rape, even molestation. Because most people who've been molested grow up and go back and work with kids who've been molested to show them how to come through it where they don't kill themselves. Most people who kill come back and work with kids and show kids not to kill. So, she, so all things work for, that's where redemption come in. Gotcha. So, man, what mama say makes sense. So, son, when this happened and mama, okay, mama, God, I already knew this was going to happen. So that means I must go be okay then. And every time I've been okay. Mm. 